Hey, how's it going YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, super easy guitar. This week we're doing 20th Century Boy by T-Rex. This is a really cool, fun and easy song to play on the acoustic guitar. Originally it's on the electric, so I've just kept the guitar in standard acoustic version, so I've slightly changed it as usual, just to simplify it a bit, okay? And before I get into it, I just want to say thank you so much for your support, guys. Um, and don't forget, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and make sure you subscribe, okay? And I really appreciate every, all the messages you've been sending me and everyone sending me all kind words. It's really great and I'm really touched by it. It's, you know, it's crazy, uh, all right? But anyway, enough of that. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So you might have seen... I've already done a video on this, but it's an older video and the sound isn't great, so I just thought I'd do an update and hopefully, you know, make a few improvements. Um, this is based around E, okay? You don't have to know a vast amount of chords. It's just E and G you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know how to do a, an A shuffle or an A pedal and a B5 power chord, and that's it. So they're all the chords, all right? So first of all, at the beginning, you kind of hear this. It's kind of this aggressive guitar, and all he's doing, he's just playing E, and you can just do one strum, and then you can close it down with a palm, and then down, up, down. And then we're into the song. So all I'm doing there is down, up, down, still got E chord on. Then I'm hitting the bottom E, and with my pinky, I'm leaving the chord on, and with my pinky, I'm going O, three, O, three, O, three, O. Down, up, down. Kind of sounds like a telephone number or something. <laughs> down up down. Oh three oh three oh three oh. Da 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 da. Now, the pinky isn't. I'm not a hundred percent sure if he plays it with the pinky. You know, if you can't do it with a pinky, if you really can't. Just take the chord away and play it with whatever finger you like. But I'll tell you this, some of my students are like seven, eight years old and they can do this no problem, okay? It just takes a little bit of practice, guys, so stick with it. If they can do it, trust me, you can do it, okay? So if you're new to chords, make sure that chord sounds nice and everything's ringing out. That's the way to test it. Just strum really slowly so they all ring out. Now you notice I put a little curl, a little small bend. So if you're confident at this song, if you're comfortable with it, down up down. Oh, three, oh, three. Little bend, O oh, three, little bend, O. Oh. This makes it feel a bit slinky, right? Whoops. Now to get that bend, I'm just putting my pinky down and I'm pulling the string down, okay? You don't have to put it in there, it's kind of more advanced. Now when you do bends, make sure you get the note first, then bend. I get a lot of people, when they're trying to do it for the first time, they go in with a bend straight away and it sounds kind of terrible, right? So get the note first, then give it a little curl, okay? All right. Bum, bum. Okay. Down, down, oh, three, oh, three, oh, three, oh. Then we're into this shuffle. Friend 
say he's fine, friends say he's good. So what I'm doing there, it's kind of like Chuck Berry, right? Johnny Be Good or whatever, or, you know, another million songs that sound similar. Um, I've got my first finger in the second fret on the D string, okay, on the fourth string. And I'm strumming the A and the D together. Nothing else, just the A string and the D string. So you have to do small strokes. Then what I'm doing with my third finger, or if you can't stretch with the third finger, you can use your fourth, your pinky. It has to go into the fourth fret. And I'm still only plucking these two strings together. So you don't want, you don't want that, you want them together. A lot of people I see make the mistake of just hitting the one string or the other string, but you want both together. And this third finger or pinky, it's gonna it's gonna hit in the fourth string, it's gonna come back off. And the way we're gonna count that is like this. We're gonna go down, down, finger on, finger off. Now notice this first finger doesn't move at all, it stays there. Down, down, finger on, finger off. So I'm stroking four times. One, two, three, four. So on the third stroke, one, two, three, that finger goes down in the fourth fret. And then for the fourth, it comes back off. The way I teach this to my students is down, down, on, off. Down, down, on, off. So it just keeps repeating down, down, on, off. And it starts again down, down, on, off. Down, down, on, off. Down, down, on, off. So if you can get up to about that speed. Friends say it's fine. Friends say it's good. Everybody says it's just like rock and roll. I move like a cat, talk like a rat, sting like a bee. Babe, I wanna be your man. Okay, then we've got the kind of turn around. Well, it's plain, plain to see you were meant for me. Yeah, I'm your boy, a 20th century toy. So, what I'm doing there, I start off with this little pedal. Well, it's plain to see you were meant. Then I go to B5. Okay, and that's just a little power chord. I'm still only playing the A and the D string. And to play a B, B5, my first finger's in the second fret on the A string, the fifth string. And my third finger, or my pinky, is in the fourth fret on the D string, the fourth string. So if you do those two bits together, well it's plain to see you were meant for me. Back to E. I'm your boy, a 20th century toy. Okay, that's pretty much the whole song, except at the end you got this 20th century boy. I wanna be your toy. 20th century toy. So it just goes E, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So E to G, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down.
So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that bell button if you want my weekly updates. Head on over to Instagram or Facebook if you want to send me a message. I love to hear from you guys, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy.